So I'm just gonna start the interview first by a little, I guess you'd call it small talk, breaking the ice. Because some people know you, some people don't, yeah. and some people are new, some people are not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have, or I'm just gonna say, we behind the boxer. We have been following your career as a boxer, and in my opinion, you have a lot of dedication and discipline as a boxer. And it really stands out, okay? So when you have that dedication like that, it's really inspiring to people who are watching you. Okay. So it's really inspiring to people who are watching you. Um, your technique in the ring, it's impeccable, which I'm just speaking to the coach about. It's really impeccable. I'm not saying that to tickle your ears. I'm saying that from my soul. Um, and I admire your ability to stay focused, okay? Um, my first question, how does it feel to have an undefeated record in professional boxing? Uh, to answer that question, it feels good. Um, it, you know, it makes you want to just keep going, get more wins. But you know, I'm like, I'm like the old school fighters. Like, win, lose, or draw, it don't matter. Really. I'm gonna still keep going till I get that belt or accomplish my goals in boxing. Can you share some of the strategies or techniques that you employ to consistently come out victorious in every fight since you've won all your fights? You know, it all starts in the gym. So you know. I'm a tall guy from my weight class, so just stand behind with a strong jab, good right hand, good body work here and there. But all in all, I got to give it to my coaches because they come up with the game plan every day. So I just work on it and execute. That's it, and that's the uh, that's the foundation. Yeah, definitely. Because your your coaching makes a makes a difference if you win and lose. Yeah. Okay. What challenges have you faced in your career, despite your undefeated record? And how have you overcame them? Uh, just pretty much just personal life issues. You know, I got like kids, I got a fiance now, so it gets kind of hard to like, you know, balance life and boxing. So that's probably like my hardest thing right now. So I'm just trying to balance everything. But you know, I again, I just keep focused and just keep going because I'm so hungry for it. But it does get a little, a little sidetracked sometimes. Well, the beauty in it is you're a human being. Right. So unlike the other species, we have adaptability flexibility so you're not just one thing you're many things right so keep tapping into that so i commend you on that how do you stay motivated and hungry for success when you haven't experienced like that taste of defeat in the ring because you're you're not like the other boxes you have no losses um to really just answer that question it's mostly like just hearing sometimes like just hearing people talk I know a lot of people talk down sometimes, and like just hearing them talk, that kind of put a little fire behind them. So it like really motivates me even more to go out there and just win, because I know people that prey on my downfall. But I just keep going and just gotta do what I gotta do. But you know, uh, every dog has his day. You know, it could come to me, but I don't think that way. Again, I just stay focused on my goal. Okay. Now this question would be for both of your coaches, because I like to take a team approach. Um, no man can do it alone. So um, we all got a story and we all got a journey. So to your coaches, how do you um, adapt or, or work on his fighting style when it comes to different opponents? Considering the fact, again, he has, he, you know, he, he's won it all, all his fights this far. So how do you guys come up with that? Well, first of all, I saw first go ahead. Um, when it comes to style, fighters have their own style. We don't change that. All we do is enhance it and um, bring other arts and tools to the table to make it a better game plan for each individual opponent. Because not one, not two opponents are going to be the same. Because um, you got Hispanic fighters, pressure fighters, they fight different. And then you got boxers, then you got brawlers. So we pretty much prepare him for anything that he get in the ring for, we can make the adjustments for. So when you speak on style, uh, we kind of adapt a style that we have, but we also know how to make adjustments to other styles that put in front of us. And myself, I'm looking for weakness. 
Every fighter has some type of job to his story. So where if he's dropping his hand, where if he's leaning, he's pulling back. Um, you know, it's difficult when you try to challenge him at his strength. That's when you make the fight very, very difficult. So you work at the weakness and you'll find a chip in the arm. Okay. This is another coach question. We're not leaving you out to Michael. Nah, this is it. another coach question. <laughs> What do you think is the key to DeMichael's success and ability to consistently come out on top of each and every fight? Well, you guys answered it for me. It's almost every person that comes to interview here, even fans, the first thing they say, you discipline, you determine, you focus. So having a fighter like that, um, it make our job easier because we're, we don't have to chase him. You got great work ethics inside the gym. So it make our job is very, very easy. So to answer that question, it's carriage to speak for it. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing much I can say. It's action show for it. Because for every action, there's a reaction. The action is he's winning, winning. So if he wasn't doing what he's supposed to do to react to that, he'd be in that losing bracket. We ain't trying to feel that. So we're going hard. I'm, I'm an angry coach. It's not what you do in the gym. It's what you do outside the gym. And it's usually where everything goes wrong. Outside the gym, unfocused, um, just life. And you got to be able to stay focused in and out. You got to be the same person. You have to save God himself. Because we as coaches, we got to go home also. So the same thing with him would apply with him. We as coaches, we have to save God what we do. But also with him because he got to be in there. Okay. One more. I know I said this one, but cause this one I just thought about uh, for the coaches. How important? is team and support system in helping him maintain this uh, unbeaten uh, streak that he's on? Easy. We eliminated the I. When you don't have an I, you don't have to worry about the individual shit. Excuse my French. But we practice, live, eat, sleep, team. Teamwork make the dream work. If I speak it, they spoke it. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, one band, one time. That's how we Drama. rock. That's how love we rock. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hey, Matt. Yeah. Oh, never mind. No, y'all talk. I'll talk to you later. Okay. To Michael. Hmm? What message or impression do you hope to convey to your opponent today? I hope you're ready. <laughs> That's all I can say. I hope you're ready. Because uh, I'm definitely ready. Uh, again, I'm always focused. You know, I don't take nobody lightly. I just come to do my job, and my job is to knock people out. So that's what I'm going to give y'all tonight for sure. With that being said, I mean, uh, that was pretty powerful. I don't think I need to have a rebuttal to that. So tell us to Michael, what would you like to share with the world because I believe you have a global presence what would you like to share that you feel like majority of people don't know about you in the ring or outside of the ring that I go through things and I know that people all people go through things but I feel like some people look at me and look at like you know my social media and stuff and they just feel like I live like a, a, a super great life and things like that but they don't really know like you know what I go through behind the scenes on my day-to-day -day life. Like, I be struggling and things like that. So, you know, I just, but you always gotta keep your image. My mom just teaches you that. She's like, yo, you go outside, put on some nice clothes, you never know who you're gonna meet. So that kind of always stick with me. So every time I step out, I gotta look nice. Or I meet people, I want a haircut, I wanna just always be, you know, a presence to people, you know, and speak correctly, speak politely, you know, and, and be me, most importantly, you know, so. Just always be yourself. Be humble. That's number one. And remain focused. And love. Share love. That's the biggest thing. Love. Love everyone. That's right. That's what you are. You're all love. So uh, we're going to close out on that. Thank you so much. Sure. I already know. You know, you're going to add one to the record today. <laughs> yeah. So sure. I'll be the first one to say congratulations. Thank you. But don't get it, Mr. Screw. Now he's speaking on love. Ain't no love in that ring. Nah, ain't no love oh. in that ring. Folks, <laughs> say it again. Ain't no love in that ring. 
Y'all heard it from Coach. No, I definitely ain't no love with the ring, especially not to me. Like, nothing but crazy. the hurt business. Nothing, nothing but the hurt person, business. Nothing person but hurt business. So, one coach says the hurt business. The other coach say ain't no love in the ring. Stay tuned to more DeMichael.